Castling is a technique whereby you can protect your king, the most important piece on the board. And there are two specifically unique characteristics about castling. One is that it can be done only once. And the other, it's the only move in chess where the movement of two pieces is considered one. There are two ways to castle, one is kingside and one is queenside. And it's best to explain this with examples, so let's have a look. If you'd like to castle kingside, the king moves two squares toward the king's rook, and the rook moves to the other side of the king. First move, the king moves over two squares toward the rook, and the rook moves to the other side of the king. Now on its face this doesn't look like it provides the king much protection, but let's see what happens when you've got other pieces on the board. Here, white is about to castle kingside. First step, the king takes two squares to the right, and the rook takes his place on the other side of the king. Now notice the king's got a barrier all the way around him. Castling queen side is very similar, the king just moves the other way. So the king moves two squares toward the queen's rook, and the rook moves to the other side of the king. Here, both white and black are about to castle queen side. The king takes two squares, and the rook goes on the other side of the king. And again, we'll watch it in action, in an actual game, as black castles queen side. He moves two squares, and the rook is now on the other side. Note, the pawns in this case are not necessarily in line in front of him. It's not necessary for the pawns to have any formation in particular. There are other requirements for castling. The first one is that you must have open squares between king and rook. The second, for the king specifically, those open squares must not be attacked. We'll explain that later. The third is both king and rook have not moved. This is a requirement. If either piece has moved, they cannot castle. These last two have to do with check. You cannot castle to get into check. And you cannot castle to get out of check. As always, it's best to see this in action and let's get right at it. And we'll do this in the form of a quiz. So here we have a question. Can either black or white castle? Look closely. Neither can castle because we do not have open squares between king and rook. Can white castle here? White can castle queenside, but not kingside. He's unable to castle kingside because of the bishop blocking the way. Can white castle kingside? This one's a bit trickier than the others. No, he cannot. Why? Because the queen is attacking a square the king would need to cross over, and therefore he cannot castle. Can white castle queenside? Well, notice that rascally bishop. But he can castle queenside because the rook does not have this restriction. The rook can pass over attacked squares. So the first step of castling queenside, the king moves two squares, and the rook moves to the other side of the king. Good job, white. Can black castle kingside in this instance? Look closely, and specifically at the white bishop. And remember that to castle, the king must move two squares given away the answer, he cannot castle because you cannot castle into check 
and putting his king two squares over would put him into check. Can white castle in this instance? He cannot because currently he is in check and unfortunately you cannot castle to get out of check. That's an important one to remember. You cannot castle if you are in check. Can white or black castle? Notice that both white and black have moved their king. You cannot castle if your king or rook has moved. And this counts at all points of the game. If you have moved either of those pieces at any point, even if you've moved them back to their original square, it's too late. If you move it at all, you cannot castle. Now, one thing to remember there is you do have two rooks. And if one rook has moved, the other still has the possibility of castling. Perhaps now is a good time to review the rules and restrictions of castling. First of all, open squares between king and rook are necessary. For the king, those open squares must not be attacked. A precursor to castling is that neither king nor rook have moved. You cannot castle to get into check, and you cannot castle to get out of check. Also, it's important to remember you can castle only once in a game. To summarize, castling, do it. And perhaps now is a great time to amend our earlier list of important things to do when approaching your game. Number one, play out your center pawns. Number two, develop a knight quickly. Number three, avoid repeated moves with the same piece. Four, beware of time-wasting pawn captures. Five, avoid self-blocking moves. And six, get your king into safety by castling early. Now keep in mind what you've learned here and we'll move on to another game.